What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. For today's video, we're going to be using autopilot on city streets. Let's go. Alright guys, so for today's video, I'm going from point A to point B using autopilot through city streets here in Toronto. Let's go ahead and let's see what autopilot does today. Authorizing autopilot here to go through the green light by pulling on the third stock, which is right over here. Autopilot asking me now to put my hand on the steering wheel. You can see it's starting to flash white. And then the more time that goes by without me putting pressure on the steering wheel, it'll keep going and keep going, flash more, flash more. There's a green light ahead, so I will tell it to go through. And because I did not put my hand on the steering wheel for a certain amount of time, auto steer is now not available anymore because I did not actually um, put my hand on it. So it's almost like a punishment and it's just telling you, hey, listen, you didn't pay attention, so fuck you, <laughs> pretty much. So go ahead and drive yourself because you're not paying attention. However, the only thing you need to do at that point is come to a stop, which we'll do here at the red light. You have to, all you gotta do is go into park. And then once you go into park, you can go back into drive and then it reactivates the autopilot and now that we take off once we take off and start going autopilot will be available again so we'll go ahead and cross over this intersection and now autopilot symbol is back up that steering wheel on the console and i will go ahead and double tap the lower stock and it'll come back autopilot is now back on and active another green light here no input from me is needed because there's a car in front of me and the car will just follow that car through the green lights. So now we are three lanes across here. I will ask Autopilot to make a lane change. There we go. So light has turned green. The line on the dash has turned green, but the car will move forward once there is space and once the traffic starts moving. All right, now that I made that right-hand turn, we are now on Don Mills Road in Toronto. Let's ask Autopilot for a lane change. Hey, hey no, well, I, 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 yay, yay, too quickly. <laughs> so apparently, for some reason, it did not want to make that lane change. Not sure why. There's no car there, there's still no car there. Let's go ahead and try one more time here. There we go, so that time it did make the lane change. Not sure why I didn't do it the first time. Maybe it picked up something or a sensor picked up something. But I'm telling you right now, there is there was no car there at the time. All right, left hand turn made. It's a 40 zone here. We're currently on McNichol and there is a stop sign coming up ahead. So we'll come to a complete stop here. Nobody behind me. Come to a complete stop. And I will tell the system to now go on its own to go through the stop button, the stop sign. Again, there is another stop sign coming up, and the system will come up to the stop sign and stop right at the line. I'll get ready to go ahead and proceed through the stop sign, which I will do so now. Oh, nicely done. Coming up to a green light here, I will proceed. I will tell Autopilot to go through the green light. Nicely done. Coming up to an obstruction in the road here, which is the car that stopped because the truck was obviously turning. So let's go ahead and keep going. I will increase the speed or the maximum to 60 now because after this light, after the next light coming up here, it's going to turn into two lanes. It is now green and the car will follow the car ahead of me through the green lights. No input from me was needed. Every car has gotten out of the way from in front so I will 
go ahead and pull the lower stock here to tell it to go through. However, as I do that, the light is going to change to yellow and then red, so the car will come to a stop. I will pull on the stock to, tell it to go through this green light. And then, once we do that, let's go ahead and ask for lane change. Nicely done. Alright, let's go ahead and make a lane change here to the left left lane because there's a bus ahead. And right now Autopilot does not want to make that lane change, so I will take over and make the lane change myself. Alright, we made the left hand turn, so we'll go back into Autopilot now. Coming up to green light here, just turn green so we'll slow down for the car ahead and then it will follow it through the green light. Alright, the car ahead of me is going to be making a right hand turn here so the car will slow down quite a bit and then we'll just tell it to go right through. And go right back into autopilot. We are now on McCowan Road. This is a 60 and the light, sorry, this is a 50 zone. We are set to do 60 and coming up to red light. All right, green light, I'll tell it to go. So I'll go through the intersection on its own here. Asking me to apply pressure to the steering wheel, which I've done so. Gonna ask for a lane change here. Nicely done. There's some construction and traffic coming up ahead. However, I will take over and I'm going to make a left hand turn here. Alright, left hand turn made. And we'll go right back into autopilot. We are now on Nugget Avenue. I have used this road previously. It is a 50 zone and I've got Autopilot set to 60. Autopilot does a pretty good job navigating through these lanes here. Actually done, stays within the lanes. It does go a little bit wider, however, because obviously we're doing 60, but it does compensate and uh, bring it back to the middle. So green light here, I will tell it to proceed through the green light and it'll actually take me to tell me to take over here, which I did. Again, it's probably that hump. Seems like it can't make that um, autopilot can't seem to see the road ahead or something like that. So it wants me to always take over. Coming up to a couple of traffic lights here that are not active as of yet, but you can see it actually wants to slow down and stop at the light there's nothing to stop at at this point all right guys that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it hit that like button if you did hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for future videos on the model x and your six until next one guys